by YouTube, and I would like to show you my 4-bit computer on my Logic one. I have the Fibonacci sequence loaded onto it, and I'm, I'm starting the program. The frequency is 8 hertz, and the program is FID. This is the CPU, the program, the address, and the data. That is the decoder, and this is the another part of the CPU, which has the registry, the ALU, and the RAM. And inside the ALU, we have 16 by 19, 15 basic functions, which are have a piece of paper lines on the side here. Here, here. Which are idle and nand or nor xor xnor not a not b pass a pass b i true false imply a imply b and we will go back and I can show you the registry. The registry just has our data. A, data B, and off code. And then our CPU has 15 different functions. Idle, send RAM out, send output out, send RAM to A, send RAM to B, send output to RAM, send RAM to op code, send output to address, send data to op code, send data to A, send data to B, send data to RAM, and if A equals B, jump to ROM address. If a is not equal to B, jump to ROM address, and wait for user input and jump to address. And then we have a program counter, which just counts. Pretty much all it does. And this is US. I'm going to start with Fibonacci sequence. And 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, D, and then 21. And if you want to see that again, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one. And that red light right here, it just means it's waiting for the user to send data. And you can send data by pressing that S, but that really don't matter. And that's an E. That actually clears the data when you select that and it jumps back just to make sure that you didn't send any data and that messed up the whole thing. So yeah. So now I'm gonna load the um guessing game. So I have a guessing game in here. And I'm just gonna load that image. I get nervous when I'm recording. Okay, so we have the guessing game loaded. My recording froze up. Uh, my actual recording. I think I am. Yeah, I'm recording. Sorry. Um. So we have the guessing name loaded. I'm just going to reset the simulation and I'm going to start the program. So it waits for user input. And I'm just going to enter in a random number 10. Okay? And then it's going to say F, meaning false. Now if I enter in the correct input, which is 5, press the button, it says C, which means correct. And my code for that is really simple. It just runs through this, which is the beginning where, where it has the if statement. And then this is, I think that's false. Let me get free. Let me check. That's so Here I have paper. Okay, three is ten. Okay, so that's false. So if it's false, it basically just goes back and asks to do it again. And if it's true, it just prints the scene and goes back. Well, actually, the data is true, and it sets it 
size was all Corolla, but I'm not going to explain my program either. Like, but I will have it down my link in the description in case you want to try it. And you can do that. And the reset, it also has a manual clock, so I'm going to turn that on. We'll start the program. Four to one. And we give manual tick, manual tick, manual tick command. My program started? Yep, my program still started. Okay. Wait, my manual clock is working. Okay, I should be. I don't want to work. Can you see? 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 Can you Okay. Okay, so there we go. It's hard to use the manual tick. So I'm just going to turn that off. So that's my 4-bit computer. It also has a 5th-bit, which is overflow. So, that's how I know what it wants. And it's really decent. Not really crappy, but crappy. Can't play Minecraft. I'm going to stop the recording.